a tangy filling made with freshly picked strawberry, sugar, and lemon, folded in store-bought puff pastry baked for a tender, flaky finish. If you love strawberries, then these are for you. Let's make strawberry turnovers with puff pastry. This sensational recipe is a summertime favorite up here in cottage country, and it could not be easier to make only five easy steps. So if you've got some of these, I'm gonna show you how to make these. Let's get started. Step one, follow package directions and thaw one package of frozen puff pastry. I put mine in the fridge the night before I make the recipe. Hopefully you'll agree, using store-bought pastry for this turnover recipe is way easier than making puff pastry from scratch. Yay! Now on to step two, let's make the filling. You'll need one pint of strawberries for the recipe. I suggest using freshly picked, locally grown berries if you can. Give the strawberries a rinse, hull or cut away the leaves, then dice them up. You'll need two cups of diced berries. Now, over to stove top, medium sized skillet, moderate heat, let's melt one tablespoon of butter. Then add the two cups of diced berries, also two tablespoons of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon kosher salt, half a teaspoon pure vanilla extract, one tablespoon of lemon juice. Stir everything together and cook for about two minutes just until the strawberries soften. Next, we're gonna reserve just a little bit of that strawberry flavoring. We'll be using it a little bit later in the recipe to make the glaze for the strawberry turnovers. I have a little sieve sitting over a tiny bowl. Add two or three tablespoons of the warmed strawberry mixture. Work it with a little spoon. You can return the chunky bits back to the skillet. Ultimately, you want to reserve one tablespoon of that rich strawberry liquid. Now, still at stove top, we're gonna thicken the strawberry filling. Small bowl, two tablespoons of cornstarch, add one tablespoon of cold water, stir to dissolve, then pour that into the skillet and stir it in to combine. We're gonna continue to stir for about one minute until the filling thickens, then off the heat, transfer it to a heat proof bowl, cover with wrap, we're gonna place it into the fridge to cool completely. Once it has cooled onto step three, we're gonna assemble and bake the turnovers. To begin, we're making an egg wash, one egg at room temperature in a small bowl, add one tablespoon of cold water, whisk together. We can also preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Now we're over to our work surface. You're gonna need the thawed puff pastry, the cooled strawberry filling. You'll need that egg wash, and you're also gonna need a little bit of sparkly sanding sugar. Taking our first sheet of puff pastry, flour your work surface, roll the dough out flat, then cut the dough into four squares. Add maybe two spoonfuls of the filling to the left of center, leaving about a quarter inch of dough exposed. Fill all four at the same time. Then brush the edge with the egg wash, fold the dough over, and we've created a turnover. Move the turnovers over a smidge to get a bit of room. We're now taking a fork and pressing down along the edge of the turnover to create a nice crimp effect. Transfer the turnovers over to a parchment lined baking sheet. Good news, there's still another square of puff pastry plus enough filling to do four more. The yield on this recipe is eight turnovers. So let's repeat. Once all your turnovers are assembled, last few details. First, we're gonna add a few slits to the top of each turnover. This will allow steam to escape as they bake. Then, give each a brush with the egg wash, last little something, a sprinkle of that sparkly sanding sugar. It is so nice. Now, time to bake the turnovers. Transfer them to the oven. We're gonna bake them for 20 minutes, rotating the pan at half time. While they're baking, step four, we're gonna create a strawberry flavored drizzle glaze. 
small bowl into which I'm adding one cup of icing sugar plus the tablespoon of reserved strawberry syrup. Stir. Then add up to one tablespoon of milk. I start with about half the quantity of milk, adding a little bit more as I go. You're looking for a drizzle consistency, but don't make it too thin. We're then going to transfer the glaze into a piping bag. When the turnovers are done, they've puffed up, tops are golden. Sometimes you get a little bubble over or spurt out. They are handmade after all, but just leave them to cool for maybe 20 or 30 minutes. Then the final step, now we apply the drizzle glaze. Trim away the very tip of the piping bag and we do a zigzag back and forth over each turnover. Looks amazing, right? Let me show you that one more time. Strawberry flavored glaze drizzled back and forth. This looks good enough to eat. Now let me show you what you can expect when you make them at home. I'm using a fork and knife to cut in the pastry shatters. The filling is so beautiful and enticing. These turnovers are perfect. Something else that's perfect, we just posted the full recipe for you to reference on weekendatthecottage.com. When you're visiting our website, please subscribe to it. Look for this video on our dedicated YouTube channel. You can subscribe to it as well. And then finally, when you make our strawberry turnovers, take a picture of them and post them using hashtag weekendatthecottage on your favorite socials like Pinterest, the Gram, and Facebook. Strawberry turnovers with puff pastry, option you don't have to use a knife and fork eat them as is enjoy mmm look ooh so good mmm